guys it's your boy i am minor i welcome you guys back to my channel and in case it happens to be a very fast moment into this channel uh hit the subscribe button at that notification bell so that you always get notified every time i post a new video now uh, i don't know whether guys you can see me uh the lighting uh see on zuri sana um but there guys i'm struggling with the uh, shooting gadget if you enjoy my my videos if you enjoy my content you can uh, reach me out i i need i'm in need of a, a camera or a good phone a good phone that can film um a good video that you guys will enjoy seeing so the rating is not that much good but uh, we just move on so today i want to touch on a topic that is uh, the difference between uh, clinical medicine and surgery um clinical medicine and surgery and uh, a course that is known as medical medical officer or the the medicine itself you know there's a difference between a clinical officer and the medical officer there's a difference so that is what i want to tackle today so enjoy this video uh let's educate one another and maybe before i even i even start um i want to say i'm not a a, a career guide so i'm just sharing uh my thoughts in, uh, remember i'm a medic i'm a nursing student i'm a, I'm a nurse in in making yeah but i'm not a career guide i'm just sharing basic knowledge no um um sina ubaya kom toyote i just want to to bring this forward forward so uh uh the number one difference is that clinical clinical medicine and medicine itself is that um a clinical officer will never become a doctor unless that clinical officer goes for further training in the university and studies for uh, the doctor itself that is M mbchb yeah you never become a doctor until you go um to the university and pursue a medicine career yes that is number one when you go, we come to training clinical officer are trained in the college level you can clinical officers can be trained in college and the universities right so for in college level they are trained for for three years and in the university they are trained for for four years uh, plus an internship of one year so that's like five years and the college level three years plus an internship of one year that's like four years but when you go to medical officers it is not trained in colleges they are only trained in the universities so uh, and they are trained for six years so that tells you that even when you come to uh, to salary on the paycheck, uh, medical officers are paid much higher than even the the clinical officers because you can see even their training is uh, uh, so much detail. And they, they they study for 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 many years. That's why uh, maybe the, their paycheck they are even paid paid much better than even the clinical officer. Number three. Uh, uh, when you come to clinical officers they are they are recognized only in kenya or in the east africa when you go to other countries like europe or in asia they don't know anything like clinical officers they only know medical officers yeah um and uh, this is uh, a big challenge because you, you find that when you try when you train uh when you train as a clinical officer you're only limited to working in in um, your country or in east africa you are you can't go and work in those europe and asian countries but i, st I start to be corrected i said i'm not a career guide um i just sharing my views on how you know i've i've seen this i have friends in ceos and even in medical officers who tells me uh, such details so another thing is that uh, there are a variety of procedures that um, clinical officer cannot perform but a uh, medical officer can perform so for the clinical officers they only perform those minor minor surgeries rarely do you find uh, clinical officers uh, in theater in those uh, we know there is major surgeries there is major uh, procedures that are performed in theater and there is minor procedures that can be even performed in um, surgical ward so um, that's 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 majorly the difference majorly the difference uh and especially this would uh, go to those who did their cases see those whom results were released uh, or those who want to join uh the medical field uh take into consideration of this that um 
um, even when you go to uh, these courses, you know what you are doing. You know, at least you have a, a basic idea. You put your interest first. You, you have a basic idea of what you want to, to pursue and what you, where you want to go or to, or to be in the near future. So kindly consider this. Um, I, I hope it will, one of my fan or my followers asked me in the in, in the comment section and I decided to share this in the video because uh, maybe there may be some other people who, who need such an explanation or who need to know the basic 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 things of these uh, two different courses because uh, they are very much confusing very much confusing you find that even when you study as a clinical medicine medicine uh, clinical medicine and surgery you never become you never be called a nemo you only be called a, a clinical officer yeah and that is it guys thank you guys for watching thank you guys for continued support uh i'm gonna meet you on my next one i am minor peace